Right, so now we're going to have a look at functions. Now, I've just started a new project, and we've just learned about procedures and parameter passing. So instead of typing in procedure, we're going to just type in function, like so. And then the same rules apply. I'm going to call this add. And then I'm going to do parameter passing inside num1 and num2. Or something like that. And we're going to be an integer. And then the new bit for you is the fact that we don't have a semicolon there like we're doing a procedure. We have something like it, this. We have that, which is actually that is a semicolon, that is a colon. So we, we have the semicolon there, and then we have whatever type of variable we want the function to be, which in this case is also an integer. And then a colon at the end. And I'm going to begin and end. Now, the way this works is. First off, we're just going to declare a, a, a local variable called sum, and also set that to an integer. And I'm, the reason I'm doing that is just to show you actual local variables that, and how you can declare them in functions. So then we're going to go sum becomes num1 plus num2, and then add, which is the function name, becomes sum like that and that's it, simple as that. Now what I would, you see I could just take out sum like that and change um, the sum there to add, like that. And it'll do the same thing. But I was just, and I'm going to do that, I was just showing you how you can declare a local variable in a, in a function. And I'm going to have a procedure called um, show like that. And I'm going to begin and end and I'm going to have a, another local variable to um, just call it sum or something and save that as an integer. Now, here's where it comes to de declaring. I'm going to have a, a global variable. Um, I'm going to call it total, like that. Set it as an integer. Okay. Now on show, I just need a bit of code like write ln sum and read a length pause the display. And then I, I'm going to use a function now. I'm going to go total becomes, so the variable total here, and I'm going to go becomes add, and then put the two numbers, 5 and 4 together. And then I'm going to just put in show and output total, like that. And if I run that, you'll see there you go, 5 and 4 equals 9. Now, how does it work? Total becomes now because we're using a function, what will happen is we can actually change the variable. So the function's name is actually a variable, which is quite cool. So we can do something like that. We can actually call the function name with five and four, and then add, which is the function name will become what num one plus num two, which in this case is nine, and then total will become that. So it's the power of functions, and you can really you can actually see that that adds two numbers together, or you could have functions doing different things. But I could go as far as um, to actually take out total completely, and then just put in this show the adding together of five and nine, like that. Five and four, sorry, which equals nine, like that. So that's the power of functions. Very, very useful. And um, as you can see from that, and I hope that this has actually been some help for you, and it's another good programming technique to add to your skills.